Hey guys, this is Epic Luigi, and guess what's back? Earthbound! Yes, this is Earthbound Playthrough Part 22. Anyway, quick reason why is my name Star? Well, okay, well, this is one of my Elias name or nickname or gamer tag, whatever you want to call it. And I also, by the reason of it, um, and what happened to Paula's um, name is, um, you know, well, let's just chop this down a little bit. Okay, so, you know, I remember I told you earlier ago with one of my videos, I told you that my, um, one of my, like, all the videos I had was actually inside that one SD card I had. Unfortunately, it's been lost, and I couldn't find it, and that original footage was inside there. So, that means I have no control over it. And I can't find it. So I had to find this. Unfortunately, good thing and good news is that I found this file when I was playing a while ago on the other... When I was playing the playthrough on another file. So we can continue on this one for now, okay? I mean, all the way throughout the game because I don't feel like I'm going to change or anything. So yeah. Anyway, um, Paula's name is Anita, and Sebastian is actually Jeff. Yeah, so all of these people here are my friends. These are my friends of my names here. Um, Anita's and Sebastian, they all come from the exact same middle school we are from. Unfortunately, Anita is in a different school. Sebastian is in the same school as I am. And very interesting, he's... Oh, <sighs> Very interesting is that, um, well, he's a very uh, smart person. And making a smart person play as Jeff, which means he's um, going to be a very interesting character in this role. Okay, I would want to move on to the game a little bit, but um, before we get to the game, um, I was going to explain just a little bit with the um, whole setup and all the thing, but... Um, I got a little bit from these um, game from this um, again. How do I say this? Let's check the status first of all before we actually get into the game. All right, underway. Um, this is what we got from our level. So yeah, I'm um, I'm not too sure if I showed you the status the last time. I don't know what was the last time I showed you the status, but um, this is how it was. Um, this this is how it is right now. Yeah, just checking through this. You can pause what you need to see. Yeah. So, the reason if you're unlikely, if Sebastian does not know what this is. Uh, basically, Sebastian does not have any psychic powers. Interesting. Because he's a character with only, only using machine as his weapon. So, um, here are the equips that I did not actually show, but as well as this. I have a minor league bat. That was a great charm and every so often, anyway. Thick frying pan. And a magnum air gun, huh? Yeah, so, we have diff- we have the same exact, but, you know, different. At least we got something. Okay, you know what? I feel like I want to get in the match right now. Come on. Uh, all right. So where were we last time? We were on inside in Mas Belch's base, and we were about to take out Master Belch, who the who sent out a slimy little pile enemy or somewhat monster. To send out the zombies to three, and we need to stop him from actually happening. Because three is in danger, so yeah. All right, let's get it on right now. Oh crap! Aren't you the one, the fl the fly boy, honey delivery boy? What's the password? 
I, it doesn't mean that I don't trust you. Just say it now. Oh, don't be sad. I'm a suspicious fellow. Okay, so I'm going to put this into auto fight because I'm just going to explain what's going on. So, even though what's been going on, um, even though I have delayed this video for quite some time, I don't know when was the last time I started recording this and stopped this. It's been like months I haven't been recording and I'm likely. Now, the thing is, um, in this game right now, when I'm doing this part, I'm actually going to be a little bit, um, my hand is going to be a bit rusty, my mind's going to be a bit rusty, I just need to remind, remember some things. Don't worry anyway, I'm just trying to review some things to, just to actually get through this. Oh my gosh. You know what? I need to stop. Okay, another slimy little pile. Oh, these guys. So that guy, so I don't know if you guys knew, but slimy little piles. Okay, so basically these enemies, I might as well explain it one more time. These enemies are monsters. Um, they can throw, they have a special ability where they can throw crap at you. Like it's burp, like gas of burp. I don't even know what it is, but it'll start making you cry like I just got. I'm not going even um, likely. Um, the crying effect will actually make you miss through attacks. Like I'll show you how that'll work. If I can get. See, I missed. It's not just a, a need and not likely a missed it because she actually didn't get the accuracy right. I missed it because I'm crying so hard because I have uncontrol uncontrollable la um, crying. And uh, this guy can also do some weird things. I don't know. He is so accessible to paralysis, which makes him not move for uh, different turns. And um, he's also um, he can also call for help, which is annoying. Ah, yes, a new power, paralysis Omega. This time I can paralysis all enemies. Yes, I might as well just see this the status just before I can forget. Let me just see. And yes, my PSI attack is called Spark. Not boxing anymore. I'm sorry, guys. It feels so. It so feels so great if you had boxing in there. Anyway, um, hip paralysis. Anyway. Yep. So yeah, I got all sort of different attacks that wasn't the same in um, in the um, the one I original footage. But don't worry, this is continuously the sequel of the f original footage that I left off in part 21. So don't worry, don't think I was just going to be quitting on Earthbound for a long while. So, I'm back. Ah, crap. Mostly Badfly, yay, this is going to be fun, these guys. These guys are ridiculously annoying, but they have less HP they can re can actually count on. Ah. Oh good, now I'm pretty much can't move. Like, I think I could, I got, what? Oh, I know what he did. Um, the slimy little pile just threw some mucus at me, and I can't do sh nothing. <sighs> well, I guess I'm gonna have to do something. <sighs> I really hate to use PSI attacks. You know what? No. You know what? I'm gonna make um, the slimy little pile paral paral paralyzed because I feel like there's nothing you can do about it anyway. Wow, that hurts. I didn't know a fly could hurt us so bad. Oh uh, yes, yeah, thank you. Wow. And that guy's dead. 
You know what? I'm no way that I'm actually gonna regret on this. All right. I actually my video cut out a little bit. I think that that should have just slowed down. I don't know. All right, finally we are done. Now time to move on to the big boss. Yes, we have a boss battle right now. You should know that this is called Belch's base, right? We come to defeat Master Belch, but where's Master Belch really? You'll see what he looks like, and you guys, well, for ladies, you're gonna probably gonna throw up and, <laughs> yeah, just don't. I would actually, I would keep all those food that you just ate in your in your mouth because you don't want them to see what Master Belch looks like, honestly. Right, I'm just checking status right now because this boss battle could be devastating. And if you don't have the f jar of fly honey, then you will not win this fight no matter. I'm not even kidding. It could be tough, but I don't know. It is rare if you can win. But you'll never win against it when it's the jar of fly honey with you. Or if you forget to use it. So don't forget to do that. So whoever is holding it must use it. So yeah, remember who's using it, okay? Ah, uh, 66. You know what? I'm gonna use the hamburger. I feel like she could use a hamburger. I don't know. All right. Let's see who has the um. Ah. So the person who has the um. Ha see. Yes. Anita has the jar of fly honey. Alright, this is what Master Belts looks like. A giant piece of slime, I don't even know what you want to call it. I would say a bunch of burping coming out right now. Yeah, I'm not gonna even go in there. Ew. Stop burping. Ah! <laughs> okay, every time I see that boss fight, when I first saw this, I'm like, ah! I'll never watch this episode. Whenever I was watching with, um, playing, playing with Moe, when, um, his Earthbound playthrough, when I saw this, I'm like, oh gosh, I'd never want to watch this. Now I know what it looks like, it makes me feel like I don't want to see this face again. But when I see the second, you'll know. When I see there's a second fight about it, it was so weird. But nothing was scary about the second fight. Well, you'll see about the second fight, which is nothing really special. Or is it? Shall be special. Anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just attack. Anita's gonna use the jar of fly honey, and um, Jeff is, well, Sebastian's gonna use the spy. And the fly jar of fly honey is gonna distract him while he, you know, there. Oh, open to hypnosis. Oh, come on! I'm being nauseous. Oh, come on! Seriously, you have to do this to me. So we have to use our most powerful attacks against this guy. Giant piece of garbage. I don't even know what you're going to call him anyway. Okay. We got him to fall asleep there. I guess I might use my most powerful attack anyway. Everyone's using their most powerful attack to destroy. Well, except for Sebastian for some random reasons. Oh, he woke up. Alright, time for a PSI spark! And that took him out. Yeah! Who's the winner? Me. Well, not literally, but I had others to help me out. 
So we defeated Master Belch and we might have freed out the um, Mr. Saturn that were enslaved by these guys. Ah, uh, yes. And he's still here because there are some final words he has. Ew. Get out of my face. Gross. Oh, shoot. Um... I think I need to use healing beta. Hold on. I forgot how this worked again. Let me just go back. Yeah, I don't want to hurt myself through the, uh, you know, things. I escaped. Zoom. Okay, so yeah. You worn down. Ugh. You smell like burp. <laughs> wow. Well, you don't say. You don't say. Anyway, whatever. Alright, thanks. Oh, get. Mm. Sir. Ah, the hot spring. It gets a lot brighter. You know, just it's just to refresh things, and you know. Anyway, um, what we're gonna do is, uh, well, let's see. We got nothing to do, but um, anyway, I'd like to like keep going things, but I'm just gonna like. Since I'm just not in the mood of kind of playing, I'm just talking. That's it. Don't worry, guys. I'm just trying to get my tone back in back this game again. But, oh my gosh. I'm just going to call Escargot Express and just, you know, and find out what we're going to get, you know. I want to see what we have in there. In there, they just took from us. got to be careful. Refreshing herb, banana, 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 town hub map, teddy bear, hell yes, I want a teddy bear. Um, banana, banana, banana. <laughs> um, another teddy bear. Uh, I'm just gonna take a picnic lunch. A skip sandwich should do. Now, I think I have three. Uh, yeah. So we got some room. Uh, shoot. We don't need a protractor again, don't we? Protractor, we have two of them, and we don't need it anymore. Yeah, I remember I was like just playing this again and clearly I got a protractor on the way. So that was weird. Okay, whatever, let's go. Oh yeah, I forgot to do this. I remember that this is likely the HP Sucker. Basically, um, HP Sucker can only be used by uh, Sebastian. It steals HP from enemies. I know how it feels, but, uh, you know. Yeah, so he can use HP sucking from other P other um, characters. It's like you're a leech and you're sucking the blood out of it, someone. That's kind of weird. I don't know what to even say this. I don't know why I even have to say it so loud. So bad. Oh, and also, I am going to give him the broken laser. Also, that last thing I just had. Well, Anita had the HP sucker, and yeah. What a weird name, anyway. Whatever. It actually fits in perfectly just because it actually um, describes what it is. 
PSI Caramel, the one I just picked up just now. I'll explain that. Um. Okay, so I don't know what was I saying about it. I think I was talking about the PSI Caramel. I think I'm getting myself back to normal. So, PSI Caramel. 20 Psychic Points. Okay, sweet. Alright, I might as well need that, but not now. Um, Rust Promoter, I can explain that from that. It actually makes the, um, any machine opponent into a, ru a piece of rust. I don't even know, like, it rusts them into, like, copper or something. And it does a lot, a lot of HP and damage, like about 200. And it defeats them instantly later on. I don't know if that's possible, but okay then. Alright, let's get out. <sighs> that sure took a while, okay? I didn't- I was just waiting, just- cr just pretty much neck-breaking. Okay. So we're gonna go back to the um oh yes that's right one of the mr saturn will give you something after you've beaten master belch i can't remember which one was it i think it was the one right here oh no this one yes this one couple life noodle mystery coin saturn coin and a stag beetle what the hell you just gave me a stag beetle. What the hell is a stag beetle does? Um, okay, then I'm just gonna drop this for no reason. Mr. Saturn coin. I think this one is a good one. I'm gonna give this to um so Anita's gonna give this to Sebastian since it's really good for his defense. I mean he has the lowest defense anyway. Like 47, 50, it's 48. No, it's me. I don't know. I mean he has the like I'm just, the reason why I described Sebastian as the lowest defense. It's because he has the least attack, right? In offensive, sometimes. But, um... It's not better than Anita in the psychic attack. So that means that, um... In defense, it would be just a little bit terrible. Just go with it, alright? So it gives him a lot more defense like that. At least I'm happy with it. I can't remember what I got. Couple Life Noodle. Um, Couple Life Noodle gives, um, whoever is actually dead in battle or outside of battle can be healed by the HP. And it'll max out the HP once it is revived. The, the, um, the fallen and, um, the fallen ally. It, for example, if I pretty much survive but Anita is dead, then her character cannot be revived unless a, a couple life noodle, horn of life, or a um, secret herb can be revived from her. Although the horn of life and couple life noodle completely heals her with full HP and psychic points together. Which is actually cool. Alright, let's go and sleep. I know it's kind of weird to explain this. There are many different ways to sleep in some houses. I don't even know. But this is a this is technically a chair. Apparently, it's a slumber bed. I'm I'm, I'm kind of a bit confused. What? Yes, this is called a slumber bed. It's like Do you want to slumber? 
What? Okay, yo. <laughs> okay. So, working through the night, Sebastian fixed the broken spray can, and he's got the defense spray. Um, defense spray actually does, um... Basically, it raises one ally's uh, defense, and it can only be used once. Okay, that's interesting. And I'm not using a computer. Because I have it right here, because I know it's like I'm just thinking about it. Alright, so we're going to go to the next one. So where we're supposed to go next is to our third sanctuary spot. So you guys remember the second sanctuary spot where near the um, happy happiest village or something? That one place that was giving help where um, Anita was not present to this but um, her character Pola was actually being um, followed by a lurking by a man lurking in the shadows trying to kidnap her and I had to save her from that. It's completely outrageous when you want to talk about this. It's weird. If you want to know about this, you might want to play this game through this and you might as well understand. Or go to a wiki and you might as well just see what for yourself. But I'm telling the truth. Anyway, before we can go to this slightly, this is the place where we need to go to the third sanctuary spot. It's inside this cave. This one's called Milky Well. But anyway, before we do that, we need to talk with T. Ah, great. Now, I'm not doing any information with uh, Earthbound because this is crazy. Now, if you want to watch... Um, play with Moe's Earthbound video you might as well because oh, every information is inside with his video it should be very explainable anyway since I'm kind of um, inspired by information by him but you know since he does his I'm actually not gonna do that since it's easy I don't even know where I could find the information I use all the information from the wiki bound but um not using Wikibound often, so yeah. I just started getting used to it. I'm not very, very smart with the um, often with this thing. Oh boy, I'm tired now. I am recording somewhere 11 o'clock in the, um, near midnight. I think it's. Oh no, it's not even 11 o'clock. It's 12:14. Holy crap! I don't know how many. I start playing at about 11.45, what the hell? Oh my gosh. Oh man, this is gonna be crusty. Can't this thing go faster? Gosh. Anyway, whatever. I'm just saying, like, you guys can just slow down if you want. Like, I believe there is something like there's a new tool to in YouTube that you can just slow down the um the video speed, like you know, just so you can just read it. That works for every video, depending on if it is um set up that way. Now, I don't really read these things. I already know what it is. So, yeah. Okay, so we gotta go past the vast desert and proceed to the big city of Foreside. Hmm. Star, Anita, Sebastian. I wish you luck.
Wow, that sure was a very interesting tea there. No, I don't want to hear again. Because I already heard that once, anyway. Oh, what the? Okay, I was just about to end the video and all of a sudden we have a photo guy. Interesting, at least it brings back memories. <laughs> yeah. Say Fuzzy Pickles. And if you didn't know, I did say say Fuzzy Pickles. <laughs> it did say that, so just go back and read that. And you'll see it say Fuzzy Pickles. If you guys didn't know what Fuzzy Pickle means, pickles are fuzzy, basically. <laughs> okay. No, I don't know. It's just weird. Anyway. Tune in for part 23, where I will go to Milky Well and defeat the third Sanctuary boss before we can go there. See you all next time in Earthbound.